Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes at 14 Tomcat building action. Without the drama, baby. Okay. Today has been a day of watching glue dry. I got I got my uh uh brace there glued in. I use my slow epoxy, just my uh uh 2108 and I mix a little bit of cotton flock with it and I brush them on both pieces that piece and this piece and clamped it put the bolts in tighten them up clamped it man and that thing is solid let it set up all day okay I sanded these pieces put another coat of resin on them they're looking pretty good I mean they're a little on the rough side but hey come on you know, they look, they look all right. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. And what else did I done today? Oh. Oh. Guess what? Bam. Guess what came in? Oh yeah. We got our turbines. Okay. Now these are AMT Pegasus HPs. Okay, 35 pounds of thrust each. Full auto start. Nice turbine right there, baby. Okay. Only problem, it didn't fit. <laughs> it was about that much too big, man. <laughs> so it was either, oh shoot, just chuck all this this away and say it wouldn't fit, or do a little trimming. What do you think old Bob did? You did a little trimming. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna make her fit. We're gonna shoehorn that them hogs in there. You know they're putting 160s in these things, and that's you know the same thrust. This is just a frickle bigger turbine. Is all okay? Now when they talk about shoehorning something in, this is exactly what they're talking about right here. Be real careful. You cannot pick up on that motor, on that starter motor. Okay. And kind of put your finger in the front of it there. Bam. Fits. Just barely, but she fits in there, baby. Okay. Now that leaves me just a little bit of room on each side for my clamp okay I got room for my clamp believe it or not okay the only thing is this clamp it's got these big old ears I want to use the, these clamps instead of the ones that came with it or came with the jet so what I'm going to have to do is trim them ears off and uh, and no one said mounting these engines is going to be easy man and I'll tell you what that's a, that's a tight old fit I think the problem is going to be holding that turbine mount while I get the turbine in there, you know, the bottom of it. Because I can't, I'm going to have to take this nut and bolt off and just screw these down to the wood and uh, cut about that much off of each side. That's the only way I can see to do it. No, it'll still clamp it down, it'll still hold it good. It's got some kind of stuff on the inside of there. But it's going to work. That's our option. So that's what we're going to do, baby. Man, that's a tight old fit. You got to be real careful. You got to be real careful not to kink these, uh, that's my exhaust temperature. Deal. Now, I was originally planning on putting my ECUs up front, and uh, that's changed now. But I think I'm going to, because them, uh, that exhaust temperature cord ain't very long. I think I'm going to, that tank goes right here. I think I'm going to mount it right on the side of that tank. I'm going to put my solenoids up here, and uh, my fuel pump. It's got a big old hog fuel pump with it, too. I, th I might be able to squeeze it in this cheek. Up in here, there's a lot of room up there. 
in here in this cheek right here there's that's all empty there's a lot of room right there so it's probably where I'm going to end up putting my fuel pump so unless I, well I can't put it anywhere up here because of that arm that's going to move I don't know we'll get it figured out if that's all that's keeping me is where to put that fuel pump baby we're going to figure out where to put that fuel pump okay but what I'm going to have to do Go ahead and trim these off. trimmed off and uh, someone was asking me what I did my HD videos in and uh, we're gonna get to some HD guys but we're in, when we're in the middle of the marathon this is the marathon camera man fast download bam 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 okay this is that exacty thing the past couple HD videos were this and it works all right in the shop I don't think it does well in low light with the color I guess you know this is the bad boy okay now we'll give you guys some of these videos from time to time but basically this is for Kentucky Jets baby and uh, I think what I'm going to do is I, I like use these cards all right and what I'm going to do that's how I mean Lip Ripper Dave's going to have to get this figured out Dave I'll just send you some cards man because I tried when I transferred it from that hard drive to a cassette tape it didn't come out right or to a DVD it didn't come out right and I just ain't had to really the time to piddle with it but that's why that happened but uh that is the oh, I didn't show him that he was wondering what the that's a JVC um what are the numbers on it JVC GZHD7U okay full hard drive very big hard drive on an HD it's kind of a professional great camera it's got the lens to look through bunch of batteries it's got a good deal on it ain't got a bag for it yet we never had time for nothing but uh that's what's going on and I'll make some more videos. Man, I've got two more cutting wheels. Man, I have to make them last. Uh... But, uh, I'll hit you one with an HD one when I get these turbines mounted. Right? How's that sound? Maybe even later tonight, because it takes so long to download, and I can download it when I go to bed. Don't time my time my computer up. Screws, I'll have to go through that way, but 
who said this was going to be easy. I just said that's going to get her done.